Hey guys, welcome to Health Sculptures. This is Sudha. In this video, I'm just going to share with you a simple but effective stretching routine. Stretching is proven beneficial, especially during pregnancy because your body is going through so many changes and you also experience so many pains and aches, right? It also relieves stress and it helps you feel good overall. So I would, I would definitely suggest following a stretching routine throughout your pregnancy. It is also one of the safest things that you can do throughout your pregnancy. Let's get started. It is important to stretch during pregnancy, but it is equally important to do it the right way. There are certain things to keep in mind uh, before you start any stretching routine. Number one, your posture. You, ha you have to make sure your posture is right. Number two, breathing. You have to make sure you inhale and exhale properly during each move, which is extremely important. And number three, do not overstretch. Take it easy and slow and do not stretch yourself to a point of pain. Okay. And of course, before starting any exercise routine, you need to make sure you get an okay from your doctor. So please talk to your doctor and make sure that, you know, you are okay with it. All right. Let's start with our neck and work our way down. So the first stretch is going to be a neck rotation. So all you have to do is rotate your neck in uh, circles. Inhale during first half and exhale during the second. of these and then reverse. I'm going to reverse now. And the last one and then you can move from right to left inhale exhale six of these You can do this in standing position or you can sit comfortably on a ball and then do this and the last one. Then tilt your head to 45 degree on, on your right side and hold it with your hand, right hand like this and take three deep breaths. You should be able to feel the stretch here. And do it the other side. Okay, so the next stretch is complete. So let's work our hands now. Move your right arm to the left and support your right arm with your left palm like this or for a deeper stretch you can go with the right left hand like this okay so stretch this way and look right okay make sure you don't strain your neck when you are doing this or any other part of the body so focus on your hands and Take six deep breaths here. Now 
now switch to the other side so left arm to the right side and support it with the right side right hand You should be able to feel the stretch in this area. And the last one. Now move your right hand. So uh, your right palm is uh, touching your back. And use your other hand to push your elbow a little further. Okay. Now you should be able to feel the stretch in the triceps and that is what we are trying to stretch now. Okay, try to sit straight and uh, don't curl yourself like this. Okay, that is very important. So yeah, you are in the right posture now and take six deep breaths. switch hands so with your left palm touching the back and use your right hand to stretch it further back Done. Now lock your hands and move it to the front. Make sure your hands are straight. Okay. And try to separate your hands like, like this. Okay. This stretches your shoulders. Okay. And hold this for six deep breaths. Make sure, it's, make sure your spine is straight. Okay, now moving on to the next one, which is the cat cow position. That's one of the best exercises that you can do to stretch your back and it also helps with the back pain. If you have watched my other video on uh, dealing with back pain during pregnancy, I would have already demonstrated this one. Okay, so for this, <coughs> you go on all fours. This position is what we call tabletop position. So you have your hands right below your shoulders and you have your knees hip width apart and you can rest your feet like this. Okay. Make sure your spine is straight. cat. So for that you have to stretch your back all the way up as if a cat stretching its back okay so this is cat and for cow you come you your head and your tailbone faces up in the sky okay so this is cow and this is cat so you have to switch between these two and make sure you exhale during cat and inhale during cow. Exhale. Inhale. Cat. Cow. Stretch to your point of comfort. You should not feel any pain here. If 
you are just starting the stretching, you might feel a little discomfort, but that is okay. But do not overstretch. Do six of these. The last one. Okay. And now we can rest. And what I'm going to do now is <coughs> I'm taking a break <coughs> in this cat cow position and I'm taking a break in the popular Bajrasana pose. Okay. This is one of the asanas that helps greatly with digestion. And talk about heartburn during pregnancy, right? Especially during third trimester. So, this pose helps with the digestion. And you can rest in this pose, okay? So, with your knees together and your feet together, try to sit on your feet and with your, pa with your palm facing up and your spine straight, take six deep breaths. This helps you relax and take a break from this cat cow position and you know you are also doing another asana in this right. Repeat cat cow position for three times for better results and now I am in my last round of Vajrasana and if you if you have noticed when you do Vajrasana, you would have felt the stretch in this in this muscle, which is the quadriceps. Okay, so indirectly helping with digestion, it also helps in stretching this quads. Okay, so now moving on to our next stretch. So sit cross leg. Like this and place your hands on both sides okay so now we are going to stretch uh, the side of our hips okay so so this is the initial posture and make sure you sit straight okay and bring your hands up all the way as much as possible on the other side try to look up and take six deep breaths And now repeat it on the other side, right hand all the way and to the other side and facing up. And the last one. Come to the starting position. You can always use a blanket or pillow if you find this, uh, you know, cross-legged position uncomfortable. Okay, so let's move on to the next pose, which is called the butterfly pose. This is very important uh, stretch that you can do during pregnancy because it helps open up the pelvis, which helps with your labor and delivery. Okay, so for this, for this. You start out sitting straight and your legs spread apart like this, okay? And then you bring both the legs together so that your soles are touching each other, okay? So with your spine straight, soles together, 
try to hold it with your hands okay you can go as further as possible don't do not overstretch okay and normally for the stretch you go up and down like uh, like you know a butterfly flaps its wings but when you are pregnant it is it is better to take it slow okay so this is the starting position and take a deep breath okay inhale and as you exhale try to stretch and push the knees down as if you are trying to touch the floor with it okay go as far as possible and try to stay in that position okay Inhale a little up, exhale. The last one. You should feel the stretch in your inner thighs, okay? Okay, and relax and spread your legs and come to the starting position. Let's go cross leg again for our next pose. Extend your right leg to about 45 degree angle, okay? And you can maintain the same posture here. Okay. And try to bend and touch your toes with your right hand. And if you, if you can go only up to your shin, it is perfectly okay. Do not overstretch. Okay. That is important. Right. Okay. So, try to bend and touch your toes. And hold on for like six deep breaths. This stretches your calf muscles and also your hamstrings. Last one. And switch sides. Come back to the initial position. So now we have covered all the major muscles and I would typically <coughs> end the stretching with uh, wrists and ankle rotation just to promote the blood flow which is pretty straightforward. Just rotate your ankles in circles and also reverse. You can do like eight repetitions of this and you can stretch inward and outward. As many repetitions as you want. And the wrist rotation is pretty straightforward. Eight times in one direction. And eight times in the other direction. And you are done with the stretching routine.
It typically takes 15 to 20 minutes to complete this whole body stretching routine. And if you don't have the time, it's better to reduce the number of repetitions but not speed through each move. Take it slow and do it at your pace. I hope you find this video helpful. For more videos, please subscribe to our Health Cultures channel. You can also stay in touch on Facebook by following our page Health Cultures. And for more health tips, please visit my page healthcultures.com. I'll see you in another video. Until then, take care and be healthy. Bye-bye.